Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about IPv4 datagram. As we have already studied in a previous tutorial that the network layer is responsible for host-to-host -host delivery, right? And uh, this uh, network layer is also responsible for routing the packets through the routers or switches. So at the source, at the source, the network layer is responsible for creating a packet from the data which is coming from another protocol like transport layer protocol and uh, this network layer is uh, responsible for checking its uh, routing table to find the routing information so what happens uh, this network layer is responsible for creating a packet from the data which is coming from another protocol like a transport layer protocol so what happens in this packet in this packet among other information the header of this packet contains the logical addresses of the source and destination and what happens if this packet is too large right if the packet is too large then the packet is fragmented now what happens uh, at a switch or router at switch or router this uh, network layer is responsible for routing the packet right so what happens when a packet arrives uh, uh, when the packet arrives then what happens is the router or switch it consults its routing table and it finds the interface from which uh, this packet must be sent right uh, we will study about uh, routing tables in uh, another tutorial right so now what happens at the destination at the destination this uh, network layer is responsible for address verification so what happens uh, at a destination uh, at destination this network layer it makes sure that the destination address of the packet is the same as the address of the host right so what happens at the network layer at the network layer the internet is a packet switched network right and packet switching uses either virtual circuit approach or the datagram approach so what happens is the internet has chosen the datagram approach to switching in the network layer right so what happens uh, the switching at the network layer in the internet uses the datagram approach to packet switching right so what happens uh, uh, the delivery of a packet can be accomplished by using either a connection oriented or a connection less network service right and uh, the internet has chosen connection less service at the network layer right so what happens uh, the communication at the network layer in the internet is connection less so uh, what happens in the connection less service uh, in connection less service, uh, uh, the network layer protocol treats each packet independently. Each packet has no relationship to any other packet. And uh, the packet in a message, right? The packets in a message may or may not travel the same path to their destination, right? Now, we will study about IPv4. So, what is this IPv4? Uh, the full form of IPv4 is internet protocol version 4 and this ipv4 is the delivery mechanism used by the tcp ip right so what happens to this ipv4 it is an unreliable and connectionless datagram protocol ipv4 provides no error control or flow control right ipv4 provides no error control or flow control except for error detection on the header right so if the reliability is important then what happens uh, the ipv4 must be paired with a reliable protocol such as tcp right now the packets in the ipv4 layer are called datagrams right so what happens uh, in a datagram actually the datagram is a variable length packet and it consists of two parts header and data and uh, the header is uh, 20 to 60 bytes in length right so here you can see the uh, various fields of header in this diagram in this figure you can see the various fields of this header right we will study about these fields one by one right so what happens uh, 
uh, this header is uh, 2260 bytes in length and it contains information which is essential to routing and delivery right so we will study about each of these uh, fields of header one by one so first is version right so this uh, field version this is 4 bit field right and uh, what happens uh, this field defines the version of the ipv4 protocol and uh, currently the version is 4 right now the next field is header length right and uh, it is a 4 bit field and it defines the total length of the datagram header in 4 byte words right this field is of 4 bit right it is a 4 bit field and it defines the total length of the datagram header in 4 byte words right so when this field is 5 right when the value of this field is 5 then the header length will be equal to 5 into 4 bytes that is 20 bytes right next field is services now what happens uh, in this field this is a 8 bit field and uh, previously it was called service type right and now it is called differentiated services so what happened in uh, service type interpretation as i have told that uh, this is a 8 bit field so in service type interpretation what happens the first three bits are called precedence bits and the next four bits are called type of service bits and the last bit is not used right so these uh, precedence right uh, precedence is a three bit subfield right and uh, what happens it defines the priority of the datagram right and uh, this uh, priority of the datagram is uh, used in issues such as congestion so what happens if a router is congested and it needs to discard some datagrams then those datagrams which are having lowest precedence they are discarded first right now so now uh, we study the type of service bits right uh, type of service bits is a 4 bit subfield and uh, here each bit is uh, having a special meaning so what happens in this uh, subfield in this subfield one and only one of the bits can have the value of one in each datagram right so with only one bit set at the time we can have five different type of services so here you can see so when uh, these uh, type of service bits are zero 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 then uh, what type of uh, service uh, uh, they define it is all written here in this table right so what happens in this subfield type of service in this subfield one and only one of the bits can have the value of one in each datagram right here in this table you can see right uh, that uh, when uh, only one bit sat at a time then we can have only five different type of services which are uh, described here in this table right now the next is differentiated services right so as i have told you earlier that uh, this field services it is a 8-bit field and previously it was called service type now it is called differentiated services right now what happens in differentiated services uh, in this interpretation what happens uh, the first six bits make up the code point subfield right and the last two bits the last two bits they are not used right now see this uh, uh, as I've told you that uh, first six bits these first uh, six bits make up the code point subfield right so what happens is this code point subfield can be used in two different ways right first way is that when uh, three rightmost bits are zeros right so what happens when three rightmost bits are zeros uh, then what happens uh, the three leftmost bits are interpreted the same as uh, the precedence bits in the service type interpretation right now the another way is that when uh, these uh, three rightmost bits are not all zeros right when these uh, three rightmost bits they are not all zeros then what happen uh, these uh, six bits right these six bits define 64 services based on the priority assignment by the internet or local authorities according to this table right 
so what happens when these uh, three rightmost bets they are not all zeros then what happens then these six bets define 64 services which are based on the priority assignment by the internet or local authorities as uh, it is uh, given here in this table right now as here you can see that uh, this first category this uh, first category uh, it contains uh, 32 service types right second and third categories they contain 16 service types right now this uh, first category it is assigned by internet authorities and the second category it can be uh, used by local authorities right and the third category is temporary and it can be used for experimental purposes right now the next field now we will see what is the next field uh, the next field is total length right so this uh, next field uh, here is a uh, total length and what happens it uh, this is a 16 bit field right this is a 16 bit field and it defines the total length in bytes right it defines the total length header plus data of the ipv4 datagram right it defines the total length in bytes now the next uh, field is identification right and uh, it is a 16 bit field uh, which identifies a datagram originating from the source host right now, now what happens uh, the next field is flags right and uh, this uh, field about this field uh, we will study in our uh, next tutorial when we study about fragmentation right similarly the next field is a uh, fragmentation offset about this field also we will study in next tutorial when we will study about fragmentation right now the next field is time to live right now what happens in this field actually this field is uh, used mostly to control the maximum number of hops or routers visited by the datagram so what happens when a source host sends the datagram it stores a number in this field so what happens each router that processes uh, this datagram that router will decrement this number by one right and uh, if this value after being decremented becomes zero then the router will discard the datagram right actually this field was originally designed to hold a timestamp which was decre uh, which was uh, decremented by each visited router right and the datagram was discarded when this value became zero right as but what happened uh, this uh, scheme required that uh, all machines uh, must have synchronized clocks and uh, they must know how long it takes for a datagram to go from one machine to another so what happens uh, today this field is used mostly to control the maximum number of hops or uh, routers visited by the datagram right so what happens when a source host sends the datagram it stores a number in this field time to live field right so what happens each router which processes the datagram uh, that router will decrement this number by one so if uh, this uh, value after being decremented becomes zero then the router will discard this datagram right now now the next field is protocol now what happens in this field this is a 8-bit field and uh, it defines the higher level protocol which uses the services of the IPv4 layer. So what happens uh, an uh, IPv4 datagram? It can encapsulate the data from uh, several higher level protocols uh, like TCP, UDP, ICMP and IGMP. Right. So what happens uh, this uh, field protocol? This field specifies the final destination protocol to which IPv4 datagram is delivered right so what happens uh, uh, this in this field uh, this field protocol it is a 8-bit field and it defines the higher level protocol which uses the services of the IPv4 layer now the next field is checksum about this field we will study later in another tutorial what is the checksum now the next field is source address uh, this field uh, it is a 32-bit field and it defines the IPv4 address of the source now the next field is destination address right now what happens in this field uh, destination address it is a 32 bit field and it defines the ipv4 address of the destination now what happens with the source address and destination address these field 
must remain unchanged during the time the IPv4 datagram travels from the source host to the destination host. Right? These field must remain unchanged. Now the next field is options. Right? Now what happens? Uh, the header of IPv4 datagram is made of two parts a fixed part and a variable part the fixed part is of 20 bytes right the fixed part is 20 bytes long and the variable part comprises the options and uh, it can be a maximum of 40 bytes actually options are not required for a datagram they can be used for network testing and debugging